Yo, Ken, what up, dude? What's going on? Why are you going so slow, man? You practicing for A1? Oh, give me a break. At least you're faster than me at something. I guess we'll see. And why are you wearing the same kit as me, by the way? All right, let's face it. AC is a personality. I, even Ken Roxon is a pretty good personality for the sport. I do like the Fox ads, and I like what they're doing with these two riders. I just feel... Definitely there's been a change over the last, gosh, I would say the decade from the Carmichael, McGrath, Stewart era. Uh, I mean, Chad Reed's part of that era too, but he's still still racing. Uh, he's going to do his VIP deal this, this year as sort of a farewell tour for himself, which is pretty cool. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about really fast riders training together. It's these big training facilities that have started it. You've got Rhino's Place. You've got Club MX, you've got the Millsaps Training Facility, you've got the Baker's Factory. So if you want to be part of the club, you literally have to be part of, part of the club. And you've got multiple top riders paying to be there to train against you. And I understand that you'll push each other more if you have that rider right next to you that's pushing you that you know is on the same program as you. It might even help you feel as if, man, I'm way above these guys because we're doing the same thing and I'm still outpacing them. But it could also have the adverse effect as well. Where with Roxon, the veteran, and AC, the up and comer, AC's got nothing to lose. He's just training and riding with the best. And Roxon, he's sort of on the downhill of his career. I mean, he's at least past 50%. And the dude's been through so much, everyone thought that he was going to be done and over with. And could barely use his hands uh, with with what happened to his arm but he's proven otherwise and it's a pivotal point in supercross for the 2020 season because you've got guys like tomac that have should have won the championship the last three years in a row and then you have all these other newcomers that are catching back up so it'll be very interesting uh, you, you never saw chad reed training with somebody else at least during his prime prime when he was winning the championships same thing with james stewart well besides his brother then you also saw ricky carmichael the goat he was sort of started you train by yourself is it just because these guys had money and they could build a facility james stewart was the first training practice track that had outdoor lights to it was it just the lack of resources for all the other competitors? I, I remember being a young kid on a 65 and seeing Heath Voss's practice track. And it was this beat up, only two wide dirt bike track that was a supercross track. And I was going, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This guy has this to, no wonder they're so good. Is he's got this to practice on. So, but now you look at any other track and it's, top tier million dollar budget excess of a million dollars with what they have in equipment you know you've got Baggett's place pretty much every top rider has a facility so the real question i want to know from the community the viewers is what do you guys think about this is it just the change in the decade the evolution of the sport uh, is it advantageous for a rider to practice with his nemesis because on Saturday, there's pretty much no secrets because you know exactly what that guy does during the week to prepare, and it's more of a level playing field. Or do you like the fact that, hey, the reason why Carmichael and Reed and Stewart were so good was because they did practice by themselves and they could hide some things and not show everything on Saturday and to sort of get inside somebody else's head because it's such a mental game this sport is. It's not just a physical game, but it's a mental game as well as being mechanical because you got to have the equipment. I just know talking with some of the people that I'm close with, like Donnie Hansen, uh, who was a champion for Motocross of Nations, Supercross, and Motocross back in the 80s, he was like, oh, heck no. We never trained together. It was always you take care of yourself and the other guy. And I know I always trained by myself because nobody wanted to ride with me. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is Johnny. Barrow!